Right, so very quick, how do you make a quick, simple, easy, vegan Christmas dinner? That's right, this year, we are traveling on the 27th, hopefully, so um, we're trying not to cook too much. We're trying to just do enough for Christmas day and Boxing day. To make it easy, I always cook the gravy maybe one or two days before Christmas. And in my gravy today, it's never the same. I've got that. I've got fennel, half a fennel that I put in the freezer last week. I've got some thyme, some coriander, celery, carrots, onions, garlic, spring onion. There's something else, ginger. And I might put some scotch bonnet skin in there just to give it a little yeah yeah and um yeah so making the gravy now i'll cook this down and boil it with some of the bean juice from yesterday and also the sweet potato water as well from yesterday i've got a purple sweet potato from at coco Ras. go and check her out so i boiled that last night because i'm putting that in our wellington and i saved the juice so i've got that juice to put in the gravy and also some red kidney bean juice as well that I saved from the soup that I made so we're well in for the gravy I'll add some tomatoes to it and I'll just blitz it and blend it later and let it simmer tomorrow I like a well simmered hi Roxy Roxy's going to be helping me prepare the Wellington as well as well as Niall um, yeah, I like a well simmered gravy that's been sitting for about a day or so. It just gives it a different kick, the gravy, yeah. you know. So a simple vegan dinner. We're having a red bean, black bean, purple sweet potato, pumpkin, pumpkin and carrot, Wellington. Gone for some colours. I want to see those colours pop. Whoops, I'm throwing celery out the pot. I want to see those colours pop. I'm also cooking rice and peas and I'm not sure why because I've not, I haven't got like a wet dish to cook because as I said we're not cooking too much so I don't know I might just cook the rice and peas anyway we might have a little bit with dinner and then I'll put the rest in the freezer for when we get back from our travels so yeah that's what I'm cooking then then I'll boil, parboil some parsnips potatoes um, all that oven roast stuff and roast those in the oven tomorrow with the wellington in the morning we're having um chard spinach and ackee cooked down with onions and stuff you okay hezekiah yeah good cooked down with ackee and um, i'll make some plant plant plantain plantain fritters to go with that so that will be breakfast stroke brunch and and I've mentioned the dinner and I think I included everything we might have a little salad on the side or something like that it depends we'll just make sure there's greens plenty of greens left. so yeah that's our quick and easy vegan Christmas dinner what are you having let us know below Merry Christmas well last night I didn't get to um, finish up the video of the food because Hezekiah was a bit clingy, he's got a bit of a cold, so now I'm just finishing off some of the food bits that I wanted to do, but to be honest, there's not that much to do, it's quite simple as I said, so I think I'm going to crack on with getting the breakfast prepared now, which is going to be a bit of ackee, a bit of chard, spinach, kale, carrots and onions and garlic with some bakes or planting fritters or both both see you in a bit I thought I lost the knife you know the knife your favorite knife the knife that puts through everything the knife that just works just works with everything I thought I lost it I was thinking where's the knife got the knife
So I've prepared the breakfast stuff now. I'm just gonna get ready to blanch that up in the pot and do the fritters too. Hoyle, oil, oil, oil's heating nicely. So I've got the side. Onions and garlic, chard, celery, carrots, tomatoes, thyme, spring onion, kale and peas. All that in the pot now. Get that going with a bit of flavour. Try and film it. I'll see if this stand wants to stand up, but we'll see. Mm -hmm. 